Uh-huh. Okay, uh-huh. welcome to the third instalment of the Turf and Tools podcast, where we discuss all things turf and tools, equipment, um, anything that interests us, really. This is the third episode, as I said. It's Karthik, Obsessive Lawny, my co host. I'm Tim the Lawnmower Man. How have you been, mate? Good. Hello, everyone. Um, yeah, good. We kind of fell apart after the second one, didn't we? We meant to do the third one and we didn't catch up. Well, it's been a crazy week for me. I'd... Yeah, well, and. I mean, on the lawn and tool side as well, there's been so much going on, it feels like. I don't know if it's yeah. just because we're looking out for more things for the podcast or yeah. whether stuff's just been happening. But that's been 10 days of like lots of stuff that's gone on. I don't think we can fit everything into this podcast. No, we can't. We were mm-hmm. that pressed for time as well. We were meant to record this the other day. Um, work got in the way. We've both been working night shifts. We just finished. Yeah, both come off a night shift, so we're on the coffees this morning. Uh, yep. At least we haven't got the sun in our face, which is nice. Uh, we're at Store Hub. We don't actually have a sponsor. They don't actually sponsor the podcast, but we just thought we'd pretty up the uh, set a bit more um, and give them a shout out because they let me sort of run do my this. own show <laughs> yeah, here. Do so, this, yeah. Um, yeah, we're not actually sponsored, but just trying to make it look like we're more successful than we are. Yeah. So, yeah, no actual sponsor. But, yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll knock this over because it's going to be 35 degrees here today. I've got to go and mow after this. Good luck. I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I did a free mow Fridays the other day with the mow rater, the um, remote control, yep. <laughs> which was fun for me. Yeah. I don't know if you oh, – I, I sent you some of the comments. I've been getting dragged. Oh, no, no, no. I, I watched those videos. I just wanted yeah. to see what, how the mower would actually do – in one of those free more Fridays as well, obviously. Yeah. Um, man, that, that thing's, yeah. Initially, I just thought it would be sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It would just be like a trick thing. Like it's fun, but might not have too many practical applications. Mm. But the more I think about it, there is, it might be a very niche crowd, but I think there is an audience for it. Well, if, um, if you don't know what we're talking about, last week in the podcast, uh, this all happened super quick too, oh, because God. I mentioned to Karthik, I was emailing a, a company, a startup, that they're doing a Kickstarter for a remote controlled mower. Uh, well, it catches as well. So yeah. that's the, the thing. You, you control it with a, I've got the remote control here. If you're watching the, the video podcast, it's very much like a, a DJI um, drone controller, operates much like that. Um, I think the company has some ex DJI employees. So that, okay. that may be where the. And, and you didn't even actually show them, because a few people I saw commented on that video to say all it's lacking is um, where it doesn't empty itself. And I kind of went, well, actually, it's not lacking in that, but you didn't, you didn't show that feature yet. Yeah. The fact that it can actually empty its catcher on its own too. Yeah, it has a uh, self-emptying catcher. Yeah. It's got two catchers, a standard one that you just put on like a, a normal one, very easy to empty. Um, but then it has one that's got like a, a gas strut that's hooked to a... a what? electric motor or something and it just tilts it up and you drive off and it dumps all the grass mm. which if you're in a small residential area that's not how you empty your catcher but if you're on a bigger property and you've got a mulch pile or something yeah yeah that would be be kind of cool for it but I, I find it's interesting anytime i try something different to the norm i get like i hear about that like when they contacted me and all i'm thinking is oh that sounds fun something different get to try out something new the Audience response is extremely polarizing with that stuff. Yeah, I mean, look, the product itself. There's, I think, lawnmowers, and there's certain things where you just you exp- you think you know what you expect. You've used one, and that's kind of what you are used to. Mm. So when you see something that's completely different, um, good or bad, either you're going to be really curious about it, and I guess that's where we sit with that. Is when we see something that is very unusual, we don't kind of knock it or knock it back straight away yeah be kind of curious to see what it would be like well and yeah. then others go the other extreme where they're just comfortable in what they like and which is fine i, I don't mean that i more mean just odd reactions to it like emotional reactions yeah. lashing out at me for trying <laughs> such things or um i'll try anything i mean it's a ter- the page is called turf and tools yep obviously i put the stuff on my main page as well when for the, the big jobs And I took it out to the Fremo Friday's job just because it arrived the day before and I was just keen to try it. Yeah, just throw it into everything, yeah. Who wouldn't? You've got a a new toy to try out that that is very unique. Uh, It definitely wasn't the job for it. It was a, uh, again, 450 square metre small block, little nature strip essentially I was using it on. 
really overgrown grass, not the best yeah. opportunity I, I think, for I, the, the mower to shine. Yep. But it got the job done. Yeah. I think that mower would really shine as a maintenance more mower. Like if, if it's a well-maintained lawn, mm. then it would do really well. Obviously, you still got to edge and you still got to do the trimming and all of that stuff. But yeah. I can see, because the blades are good, the power is good on it. Um, it was even getting through some of the thick stuff when we first got it out of the box and tried it out. Yeah. Um, so there's plenty of power there. I think it'll do really well as a maintenance mower, obviously, for anyone that finds a use for a remote control mower. Well, that's the thing. It's just an extremely niche tool. Mm -hmm. I, I just think when whenever I present something, people automatically assume that it's meant for them. You know, the, these videos yeah, are made yeah. for a wide audience of people and not everything I show is necessarily going to be <laughs> relevant to you. But I don't know, I just see something like that and I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I watch it or whatever. But um, yeah, it's a pretty cool bit of tech. Just to be clear, not sponsored. The company did reach out at the start asking for, you know, prices for reviews and that sort of thing, which I try and steer clear of because it's, it's very hard to be objective. Um, when you're being paid to review something, yeah. as I've mentioned so, before. So just to check, is the mower called the Morator or is the company called the Morator? Like when it goes to market, is it is it the brand Morator? That's a very good question. The The mower is called the Morator. I and think it's, it's the S1. Okay. Uh, they're a startup company. I believe it's just called Morator. I, I'm Don't still know. finding yeah. out all this stuff. Like it's only been here for a week. Yeah. And I've been playing with it. We're mm -hmm. gonna, you know, cover it more. I'm gonna play with it more. I put out a video yesterday of when the day I got it, and you came out and had a look yep. on Turf and Tools. So if you want to go and check it out, um, see how it operates, and see how I got it out of the box, have a look at that. But yeah, it is a Kickstarter, which means it's uh, it, it's kind of hard to explain if you don't know what a Kickstarter is, because there's so many people that they've got a Facebook group for the launch of this bit of equipment and I, and I noticed one of the main comments is how much is it when is it available and yeah. there's no actual answer so for they, that they basically have a idea mm. they've got like a small batch of products i guess that they've got up and running but kickstarter is where they'd go to look raise capital to go mainstream basically yeah is that is that pretty much basically, the gist of it? yeah yeah so yeah. you i believe and i haven't looked 100 percent into it but i believe if you get in early and you're a you know quote unquote backer uh -huh. you get I think they're doing a forty percent discount on the price, but the price hasn't been revealed yet. So I okay. think you've got to like okay. register your interest, and then uh, when they reveal the price, I'm, I'm sure you then have the option to purchase or not purchase. But you get being an early backer, you get forty percent off the price, whatever it is. But right. it does. I've noticed in the comments, it's an interesting business practice because they've sent it to me. I've been showing it, and people like. Some people mm -hmm. are like, oh, that's cool. I'd like to buy one. Or, or how much is it? Where yeah, do I get one? And yeah. the answer at the moment is... They're not, not available yet. Not available yet. Mm -hmm. There's a Kickstarter. Go and check it out. Um, basically, it's more information to come. So I've noticed a bit of frustration um, on that page, and I kind of understand it. You see something, you just want to know how much it is, where I can yeah. get it. Um, just really quickly as well, because of, I think, social media, the way it works anyway, because of that more data and the few Google searches I did on it as well after having a play... Um, this other product's been showing up. I think it's similar as a Kickstarter as well. But oh, it's, I haven't seen it. It's a, like an auto mower, but yeah. with the catcher and everything on that I one. I have seen that one, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. actually did reach out to them on Instagram when I saw that. Mm -hmm. uh, is it by that Luba? I can't remember Luba. the brand now, but it, it, they, something they call motion. it a lawn sweep. So, something well. motion or something, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But um, anyway, yeah, just thought. Like, yeah. Yeah. Because so, I, know, I know the one thing, initial instinct anyway with this... Uh, Remote mower was the fact that it would be good if it also had the auto mower feature. Mm. It doesn't. Well, the other one is an auto mower. Obviously, it doesn't have the remote feature, but then it's got the catcher still on it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just, I guess there's, there's something there between the three existing products. There's probably one complete product out there eventually. Yeah, definitely. Mm. And, I, like, I don't want to be here people thinking that I'm pushing this thing as this is the <laughs> next revolutionary mower just, that everyone's going to have. I'm, I try out equipment. I show it. There's going to be a niche market for it somewhere. Uh, you, you probably just got some coin invested on the side, right? Oh, the more rate up. Maybe I should. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not pushing this as the next big advancement in mowing. I just think it's an interesting tool. Yeah. It's fun to use. Um, I, yeah, I just like changing it up. Can, it just sounds like something. Let's say, like if we were just sitting back after a 12-hour shift having a beer and chatting, mm. and we'd come up with some dumb ideas. Yeah. It sounds like. A dumb idea we'd come up with when drunk, but then in reality, 
it actually is a pretty good idea, if that makes sense. Well, like I said last week, I, the Ecovacs robot mower that I've got has a feature on the app where you can steer around on your phone the, the robot mower. Yeah. A, a lot of them, when you set the boundary initially, you've got to do it. Yes, that's you've right. You've got to yeah. drive and, it around, yeah. And that was, that's kind of fun to do. And you're like, oh, if only I could you know, sit un, in, in the shade. And just mow. <laughs> and just control it. It's yeah. fun. How, I, don't, I don't know when the novelty wears off it and then it just becomes a, a chore again. That's yeah. going to be the interesting thing. Yeah. But I used it at work the other day, and that's a big, a very large corner block. Um, very busy street too. And I mowed it. I ended up doing like four passes on it just because I was having fun. Mm. You should have seen the looks I was getting because it was a very busy road yeah. <laughs> standing there. But if, if I can say something on that one, like I think lawn mowing in general and mm. from a domestic setting, you'd think 99% if not more people, it's a chore. It's a, it's a job they need to get done. So I know you're talking about when the novelty will wear off. Yeah. That's for someone that enjoys mowing. That's true. Yeah. So for someone that's, we are. Got to mow the, job, mow the lawn. It's a job they need to get done. Mm. I think they'd probably rather get it done through a remote control than push it. Yeah, I think we forget sometimes. Yeah, we the well, minority. I, I do that, <laughs> that we enjoy mowing our lawn, yeah. lawn two or three times a week. <laughs> like we, it's, it's an activity we enjoy, yeah. but a lot of people really don't enjoy it. Yeah. So. And for a job that they don't really want to do, I yeah. think they'd rather use a remote control in the shed than uh, push one in the sun. So, yeah. So a few specs on this machine. Uh, the one they've sent me is a two-wheel drive uh, version. Yep. They do have a four-wheel drive version coming from what I believe. So the motors are in the wheels. I believe they're hub motors for the rear-wheel drive and then mm -hmm. they've got casters on the front. So it works like a zero turn. So it's very manoeuvrable. Yeah. And you had a go of it and it's very intuitive to use, isn't it? Yeah, really, really sensitive, but it's it's almost like if you're playing a video game and you've got it set on like a hard setting instead of medium or easy setting. So yeah, okay. trying to keep it in a straight line was a bit of a struggle because of how sensitive it was to the remote. So even the slightest bump, the more more sort of I go found off the, the straight line. I agree, but I found the correction was easy enough. To, I, I like a bit more control. I like sensitive yeah, controls. Yeah. I don't like um, dampened controls, yes. if you know what I mean. Yeah, no, I, I get it. I just, like like I said, I mean, I've always played all my video games in easy mode, I guess. It wasn't very good at uh, <laughs> it either. But yeah, I just found it hard to try and keep a straight line with it. Well, to combat that, they do have a, I don't know what the term is, but it's an auto drive feature. It's a button. I'm holding up the remote if you're looking at the video. Uh, a top button there, and you just press that and that takes care of the straight drive. Okay, and you just do the turns and... and well, it'll just keep driving in that direction that you've started on. Mm -hmm. Bear in mind you've got caster wheels so you really have to line it up if you want to go straight. Um, and then if it gets a little off course, you can just nudge the left or right, right. to get back on track. Okay. Um, what I have noticed though is when it is a really bumpy surface, or bumps in general, mm -hmm. we'll throw it off, off a bit, and then it'll keep going straight in that direction. Right, so yeah, yeah. yeah. I it can't self-correct back to the original path, no, so to speak, yeah. I haven't tested it enough yeah, yet, yeah. Uh, just because of time. I'm, I'm going to do a lot more testing with it. Traction was another thing with it, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so, again, this is the two-wheel drive version. Mm. You've got those casters at the front. So I've done a little bit of slope mowing uh, going across the slope, and I've noticed that, especially if it's... Uh, you know, that wispy, weedy stuff where it's very slippery. Uh, I've noticed it kind of nose dies, steers, understeers yep. down the hill a bit, yep. which in theory, the four-wheel drive version would correct those issues. Um, the thing with the four-wheel drive version, though, I imagine it just wouldn't operate like the uh, like a zero turn. Because yeah, that's the good thing about yeah. having those front casters. It, it's so manoeuvrable. Yeah. So, I really want to try the four-wheel drive version to see what that's like. <laughs> um, but, yeah, lots of – it's very easy to induce wheel spin on it. I don't know if it needs a different – like, they're quite a chunky tyre. You yep. look at it and you're like, I think it should – Well, they look chunky, but they were soft as well, I felt yeah. like. I think they just need more, like, hard rubber. Like, just – I feel like soft rubber on air. I don't know. I don't know. Again. I don't know what the answer is, but I, I, there's a little bit too much wheel spin – for in, my liking, on slopes, you can still yeah. control it. Not even on the on the straight. If you've got the, it's got a you know speed control as well. So if you've got the speed turned right up, as you're turning, it's very easy 
because it's really an electric spins. motor, yeah. it, you know, the wheels start spinning very quickly. Yeah. Um, so again, don't know what the solution is there. I'm sure this is a startup. So the fact yeah. this is their first iteration of the product is, is pretty good. Yeah. Pretty impressive to um, me. The other one that I thought was uh, what was it? The bumpers on the front. Mm-hmm. Did you like? Because when you kind of put it through the. Well, you tried to run of, yourself over. So that's. Well, that was intentional. I wanted like to see you. if like. I, I was literally just checking if somehow magically they'd already installed some sort of safety mechan- safety thing on it where it wouldn't run into they have obstacles. S- they have sensors, which I I turn them off. Um, and also, they would break on their own, you're telling me, if I tried I, to drive yeah, it into myself? Again, I haven't done the testing with the sensors yet, and the reason for that is it's... Um, I just... I don't want it stopping me because I've been doing smaller stuff. Yeah, I don't yeah. need it sensing that there's a garden bed near me that I'm clearly aware of. Got it. I haven't had time to play with them. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know how sensitive they are, if they're oversensitive. Yeah. Um, also, this is pre release software or firmware. So it's a lot of updates, a lot it, of improvements. It, it'll yeah. change um, over time. But yeah, it has sensors on them. Um, it's got a tilt sensor, obviously, as well. So it detects that it's tipping over oh, okay. obviously it stops Cups everything automatically yeah, nice. um what other sensors yeah lots of sensors on it i'll have to have to <laughs> have another look uh, they range wise they say it'll mow more than an acre it's a 12 amp hour battery 56 volt so that's more than an acre well, an acre is four thousand square meters yeah what, what's the runtime let's do like uh two point they say mm-hmm. 2.25 hours and we know with any that's impressive. That's yeah. impressive. Very yeah. impressive. Yeah, that's impressive. We know with anything battery, though, runtime is very dependent on what you're cutting, how you're cutting it. What the workload on it is, yeah. The temperature. Yep. You know, lithium batteries um, don't like heat. Yep. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, 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 I take with a grain of salt. I mean, even if you share an hour off that, right, like, yeah. that's still an hour and a half. Yeah. You'd be like, yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, Char- do you know what? Like, have you managed to drain the battery and charge it from? No, I haven't. No? So okay. back to when I said I, I mowed work, large, very large corner block, and once I was finished that, it still had eighty three or four percent, and I did three or four passes on it just because I was having fun. Yeah. So to, on a largish corner block, I say that there's no backyard for it. It's but it's a very large nature strip, very long, um, two sides to it. Uh, to only use 16 or 17%, mm-hmm. I was very impressed with it. Uh, I also had a quick go. Now, I would not recommend this. This isn't what you're meant to do, but um, I I have rode it like a ride-on. What? <laughs> and it, no. It, no, I did. I, it took my weight. It was cutting. It was... What, did you stand on it? Or? No, no, I sat on it. So, okay. I mean, uh, for you, though, it would be like getting in a little hatchback or something, isn't it? Not that different. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was a little bit worried. Did, I was looking at the rear axles and I'm like, will this handle it? But it did, didn't even seem laboured okay. on the drive, which, again, pretty impressive. Height of cut might be a bit of an issue for our environment. And I oh. say that, but then I walk back on it because the type of yards that I imagine you're using this on are y- larger yards where you're not cutting low, low, yeah. low. Yeah. But I haven't even got an, an, a definite... Uh, number for I've, I've seen conflicting numbers 1.5 mm-hmm. inches 1.7 inches which is um, what's what's one what's one, what's one five seven inches. go off one seven I did have it written down somewhere but too high for uh, you know a low cut lawn very American style cutting is that it there one. two point five no two point five is one inch we know Hang on, that. what do you what, what do you want uh, one point seven <laughs> how bad one point, just go Google one point seven inches in Centimeters? Millimeters, millimeters or centimeters. centimeters is 4.3. Jesus, that is, yeah. But it didn't seem, I've had it on the lowest. I did my nature strip next, my neighbor's nature strip next mm-hmm. door on the lowest, which actually you saw the cut of that. Yeah, yeah. That didn't look like 4. Point nah, nah, 4 centimeters. So I, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I'm going to get clarification. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to get clarification about that. The other thing I've noticed though, like a lot of battery mow- mowers, the blade is about, uh, 10 to 20 mil higher than the bottom of the deck. So whether they can put a spacer under it and then 
you're able to cut lower because but that's with almost all no, not just battery mowers is it unless you you've got one of those utility mowers or something most mowers that's the case yeah but it's, it was more than more pronounced yeah okay. I, i'm looking at it and you're like okay on the lower setting here i'm going to come across issues where the deck is scraping the grass Oh, okay, that's not good. Okay, when, yeah. when, when, okay, yeah, I get what you yeah. mean now. If, yeah, like if you've got a spongy enough lawn and it's on, and you had it on the lowest setting, it you're going to yeah. be the deck's going to be pushing into the grass, got and it. it's just yeah, it doesn't not work, a nice yeah. experience. Yeah. But again, this is all pre-release stuff. They seem to be open to feedback as well. They, I, I said I, I had some um, uh, ideas for it, just about my experience with it. Yeah, yeah. And they said they're going to get me in contact with an engineer or whatever. So good that they're yeah. If it's a prototype, yeah, it's willing good that they're to, receptive, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, Ninety minute charge. Okay, that's pretty impressive. To yeah, me. that's pretty quick for, for a large battery like that. Yeah. Well, again, if you if, if they're saying it's lasting two point two five hours, which is uh, what's that? One hundred and twenty. Um, like it's it's running for longer than it takes to charge yeah even, yeah, yeah. even yeah. if you will even if you go hey it's only going to run for an hour and a half the fact that it's charging up as quick as you using it, using it yeah. yeah yeah i did have some people questioning it's it's got a lid at the top of the battery which you've seen yeah a plastic um like a flip thing yeah yeah but it's um what's the word iced plastic what's it like What's the uh, word? Like tinted, I don't know. What, yeah, sort of, I know yeah, what I, yeah, yeah. I can't think of the word. Um, but the battery is directly under that. Yeah. So you would Heat. imagine, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess. Let me have a look now, actually, because. Frosted. Frosted plastic. I think there is a fan, because when you turn it on, there is a noise there. No, no, I. Let I me think, have a look. Frosted is the word. Yeah, but I think um, the opinion about it sort of getting heated in the sun, irrespective of whether it's got a fan or not, that's a valid one. You can go. I'll keep talking. <laughs> we just had a magic cut there. I just went and grabbed <laughs> the battery. And I did notice there is a fan under the battery. Okay. Um, to and cool it. if you look yeah. under the battery, there's some breather holes essentially for the batteries. So I guess it's sucking that hot air yeah. out of there, which is a good thing. But the top of the battery is kind of getting... Solid. Yeah, I'd, I'd, like they should probably just make it uh, so there's no heat getting through the top as well. Just... Lithium ion with the reputation it's got as well. It's probably yeah. the safest. Um, well, I don't know. I'm, it looks I'm, cool I'm sure they've thought about it. Mm -hmm. I haven't had any issues with it overheating, which w I thought I would. I haven't used it for long, long periods of time. But I mean, look at look at. I mean, look at the size. Is. Yeah, I There's was going to say big battery. Hey, mm -hmm. uh, and that's the other part, right? I wonder if they've considered uh, like dual battery options and stuff like that. Why don't they? Because they could need make to. it. If they could make this oh. smaller. Yeah. The payoff would be heats a bit faster, but then they could probably run two batteries if they wanted to. For any mower, I would much prefer a large one big one. format battery like this instead of having to juggle multiple batteries. It's actually like these guys, right? Like, yeah, well, they, they, like yeah. they're big, they're big version. He's pointing to a Crest battery we've got here. This is just one of the, um, the handheld batteries, but they have a large the backpack big battery, yeah. which I think a 10 amp hour battery. Mm -hmm. I much prefer a large, for, for high output out, um, items like a lawnmower, I want a big battery in there so I don't have to then go and at the end of the day get four, five, six batteries, put them on different, you know, two of those big batteries, yeah. bang, bang on the charger, yeah. particularly a dual port charger like the Crest one. That's definitely something that I like. Mm -hmm. um, you can charge that battery on board. Can you charge it off? like? Um, yes. On so its you, own as well? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you pull it out like this. There's a little okay, yeah. um, attachment there, a little power, power mm -hmm. socket mm -hmm. that you plug into, but you can do it while it's on board, which I like. Okay, cool. Um, because I don't want to be removing this thing in and out. Yeah, you'd rather I've just, just plug got, the whole thing in. I've had it on the back of the ute, and I've just got an extension cord to the charger, and then, bang, just charge it on the... On the go, yeah, while yeah. you're driving. I yeah. hate having to... I hate chargers, <laughs> swapping them in and out. I'm in a unique situation because obviously I try a lot of these things, so uh, there's a lot of chargers and batteries hanging around. But, mm -hmm. um, the range on the controller, I don't know what it is. I just tried it here at Store Hub, which is probably 100 metres to the back, would you say? Yeah, yeah, possibly. Yeah, yeah. it's got to be around that sort of... Um, 
number and it didn't the yeah. controls were still perfect didn't yep. have any issues at all cool. i think the range won't be an issue at all as you know with your dji drone like you can get a couple of kilometers range on it more so. than that yeah i've sent it further than well, that yeah <laughs> <laughs> line, Not of mental, sight. Yep. line of sight carthic but um i was locked on <laughs> you it's going to go far enough that you won't be able to see this thing yeah you need to see where it's going so Correct. range is not a, a an issue with it that was another thing i had a few people commenting about negatively yeah that i was following it around why would you do that i just got this thing i'm seeing how it cuts <laughs> I'm, and, and you're naturally drawn into in a small area particularly walking with it yeah yeah you're drawn in to see what and i mean what's going was, on it was i don't think people realize sometimes that when you are trying some of these completely new things you literally are like a kid as in you haven't done a test run first before then turning the camera on and filming content you literally take it out of the box turn the camera on yeah and just like yeah you literally are like a well, little I kid with and, a toy i try and relay my genuine initial experience yeah, yeah. with it because yeah. once you've had that initial first experience you don't it's not the same it's um yeah i try, I try and relay that first real feeling of hey yeah. i'm getting this out of the box i'm using it for the first time um good or bad which you know can be bad for some brands or yeah. whatever but i'd never try and slam anyone um another option with this which again i don't know a lot about it's an option for it i don't even know how it really works but it's got a leaf vac attachment which is on like a metal handle and then it's got a tube that that hooks into the mower somehow mm -hmm and sucks up leaves or whatever but I, I don't understand how you would be operating the controls and then yeah and then about things vacuuming on its own as well well, well not vacuuming on its own because you you're you're holding the vacuum moving it around i don't are you sure yeah it's a remote control wall i would i think they would probably in, it's a hand to, it, from the pictures i've seen again yeah. i'm i'm going to cover more of this mm -hmm. and anything i find out about it on the channel um but from the pictures i've seen on the website it's you know the most yeah, yeah, yeah there in situ and you're like you've got a vacuum or whatever yeah, and vacuuming yeah. like up leaves yeah, yeah. but if you move maybe if you had one big pile or something and you wanted to yeah, do that yeah maybe I, you just turn it into like a mulcher yeah it seems like an interesting idea mm. I, I don't know what it would be like um maybe they should um join up with uh, trim access and install that on it as well <laughs> that's it's all sorted then that's the other thing people have been saying oh, oh now all you need is a remote control uh, line trimmer well there is one of those that remote I'll, I'll control line trimmer no 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 um like a remote control edging slash everything okay like, yeah. um i'll send it to you it looks like a little uh, droid looks like something out of star wars i'm not making this up it's you're not talking about the husqvarna's no 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 because no. husqvarna have released a robot mower that uh, it's got a blade that's is it a blade or is it actually trimmer line i saw it i think it's a blade mm -hmm. but the it's so it's got the normal blade on it but then it's got one sort like of at the back break. corner i think it is so that gets the corners yeah it rotates around and kind of bumps its bum into the corner and it gets a lot closer to the it's edges. not going to trim the 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 um, horizontal edge or anything mm -hmm. but it gets a lot closer to the edge okay I haven't seen it work in person, but I did see that the other day. You've got to send me that other thing. Though. Yeah, yeah, I'll find it. I'll find it. It I'll doesn't sound it. real. Um, full power mode is something that I will talk to them about. I've just been slowly working my way through the controls and the settings on it. I haven't found anything yet. Seems like a, a miss if it's not there. Although there are these three modes, so I've got to work this out. Okay. Mm -hmm. They could have this option, I don't know. But like every battery mower you try now... Um, it just hums along at lower RPM to yeah. save uh, battery. Yep. And then when you get to thicker stuff, it ramps up. But it's too late by then, isn't it, usually? Often, yeah. I, and I've only had it ramp up, ramp up, really, mm -hmm. a couple of times. And you saw it when we were doing that longer yeah. stuff. It's still, most of the time, it wasn't even ramped up to the full um, Speed, power. Yeah. Yeah. So, and there's no override on it. Where there you might, can just... Again, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. If there's not, I would definitely be recommending they have that as a software feature where you can push a button and get full mode because I, I say it all the time. I just feel they bag better yeah, at higher yeah. RPM. Yeah, better and if, suction. If, if, if you don't need the battery to last to its full capacity, yeah. you'd rather run it on the highest RPM even for a small job. Well, I want the option. Yeah. And the, there's a mower that does that. Uh, well, there's multiple miles that do it. Milwaukee 
mm-hmm. they've got a high lift. That's right. Yep. So you can run it at that high speed. Obviously, you sacrifice run time on it. Uh, we'll have to talk about the Milwaukee mower at some stage. Okay. I don't I, think I, I've seen that one yet. Oh, is this the one that the you... One, yeah, 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 the one that you destroyed. So right, we'll talk about it. that in a minute anyway. But, Amateur. Um, 1,500 charge cycles they rate the battery for, uh, which isn't too bad. And, uh, yeah, price, we don't know We don't yet. know, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's look, it's um, by the time it lands on the Australian market, look, realistically, I think it's going to be an expensive product. I yeah, would assume. I, I genuinely yeah. don't think it's going to be very, very, very affordable necessarily. It's a startup. It's new tech yeah. for them. Yeah. It's but I think that's that's kind of the balance they're going to have to find is if they do want to sell yeah. sort of decent chunk of units, that price point is going to be very, very hard to... I'm sure over iterations, price will come yeah. down anyway, you would hope. But very impressive. It's got a 21-inch blade, so like a standard um, bar blade on mm-hmm. it. Uh, which is different to any other sort of remote yeah. mower and, that you've... And generally, when's the last time you tried a mower that was fun? Like, that just kind of, you really went, oh, my God, this is so much fun. Yeah. Again, I don't know when that novelty wears off. Yeah, of course, of course. And if the novelty does wear off, I'll be like, okay, this is... I'm done now. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll let you... Like, I'm not... They did put in that Facebook group, I put up the video on Turf and Tools, and they reposted it and said that, oh, look, you know, Tim the Lawnmower Man's integrated into his workflow... Yeah, and I, I commented on that because I'm like, hey, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying this thing out. Yeah, that's... I wouldn't say I've, and that's the thing you've got to be careful with. People see you using stuff, and that a lot of the time, the assumption is that if you use it, you must like it. <laughs> well, if you use it, you must like it, and that's the tool you use. But yeah, if yeah, you yeah. watch a few of my videos, because you, you just can't take for granted that most people don't see all of your videos, <laughs> so they see you with a piece of equipment and they assume that that's what you're using. Yeah. And, and the, yeah. that's like the number one question I get asked in, or apart from what line are you using, what line trimmer are you using? And a lot of the time it's different. So, yep. um, yeah, <laughs> that's, uh, that's where we're at with that. Um, Jeez. Sorry, I, I think should... we've been 30 minutes on just the moderator. Well, we're not even finished. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I did try it. I didn't speak about its cutting modes. We have, uh, you can obviously bag it, like I said, uh, mulch and re-discharge. Uh, I've bagged it, seems to bag okay. Um, okay as in comparable to most battery Normal, mowers. Yeah. Yep. Um, re-discharge works reasonably well. I did do a job, I stopped on the side of the road. It was a 35 degree day and there was a guy mowing. It was actually out the front of a convent. I didn't know. But, yeah. Um, I'm like, hey, do you, do you want a hand? I've got to test this mower out. And it was quite long at the side of the road and he, he was using a Honda. Was it a contractor? Like, like a pro- no, no, he was, no, just, just, he was okay. a helper, a volunteer. Yeah, yeah, got it. And he was sweating. He's pushing <laughs> this 19-inch push mower. Perfect. And he's like, yeah, sure. So <laughs> I got it out there and I did notice on the thick, thick stuff, it was quite easy to, for thick, thick stuff, like any mower and particularly battery, uh, easy to block the chute. Okay. But I put an Oki strap on the, the chute door. To leave it fully open. it up. Yeah. And it was able to breathe and it was throwing the grass out and it didn't block again. Yeah, because it's only got the half a chute, right, in the back? Like it's not yeah. a full open no, one. No, correct, yeah. yeah. But yeah. with that chute, uh, as in with the, the flap up, the flap up mm-hmm. it was throwing the grass out nice. really, really well. Unsafe, but that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see rear dis- uh, re- discharge. I'd like to see side, side discharge, discharge on it. Yeah. That would be awesome because mm. um, then you're not getting caught in any shoot or anything. Yeah. I think it would be a, a, a real, real animal. Look, in they've that, done yeah. well to integrate a lot of these features into like the prototype already. Yeah, like yeah. You'd, you'd kind of think they wouldn't have tried like try to put a mulch mold on it or anything, but yeah. they've done well, I must admit. Yeah. yeah. They also tried mulch mowing today mm-hmm. here at Store Hub while I was on waiting for yeah. yeah, it was you know very dewy grass, um, kaikuyu here. And a bit of a slant too, so I gave it a go there. Like, again, any mower in wet grass yeah. mulching is going to struggle because the, the grass just gets stuck under the deck. And then with a, I, I, I overloaded it for the first time mm-hmm. ever. I was, did, it, did it cut out? Cut out for the first nice. time. Okay. I, it was on the second lowest setting, and you can I showed you that patch yeah, where it was. So I yeah. was going quite low. Um, it wasn't that, that it was too hard to get through. I lifted the deck and I could see, you know, when the grass Clump. gets stuck on the outside of the blades. Yeah. 
and yep. it, it just de- clumping. Yeah. Well, yeah, and it just detects that there's that resistance there, and it, and it shuts off. So I just pulled it up one one setting, went over it, and it was fine. Okay. But uh, yeah, that's that's the Mo Rater. There's gonna, we're going to talk more about it in the coming weeks. Mm-hmm. I'm going to you know still put it through some uh, interesting scenarios and whatever. I'm having fun with it. But uh, another mower. <laughs> uh, my Milwaukee. My Milwaukee um, battery mower, the self-propelled Milwaukee, which I've been quite a fan of and I've been very upfront that I like the design of it. I think it's got some of the best controls in its class. Yep. It fires up really quickly to get up to full RPM. The, the drive, um, you push the button and it just goes... It doesn't seem to lock up if you want to pull it back, the, mm-hmm. the, the rear wheels. Lots of little things. I'm just like, okay, it feels like it's well designed there. I was using that in that Fremo Friday's job and um, I was, I'd was i done 95% of the work and there was this patch beside the, the other side of the driveway. And because I'd done all my cleaning up, which sounds weird, but if you... The way I work is to make videos, so I do section by section. Yeah, I do a bit, clean that section up, which is not efficient, but I'm making videos. Yeah, so yeah of course. There's a, a, another reason for it. So I was doing that section beside the driveway, and I thought I'll put the mower over it first, which I'll, often I'll do anyway because it just it takes care of a lot of the edges. Yeah, yeah, and then you can kind of clean it up after again. Yeah, and run but more. my theory was just bag it. That's gonna bag most of the stuff, not make as much mess on the driveway for me then to clean up because I'd had to do so much cleaning up. Um, There was a light pole down the bottom of this patch and I know how these things are installed. Um, There's there's four bolts that stick up either side of it. Uh, I was just, it was towards the end of the day, hot day, trying to get it done, thought I was clear of the bolt, collected the bolt (laughs) and immediately... I knew I had headphones on, so the sound wasn't so bad to me. But I could I could feel in my hands. Yep. I'm like, oh, this could be a uh, catastrophic failure here. Or, <laughs> and um, it was. It was. Yeah. Yep. It completely big dent in the blade, which mm-hmm. who cares? You can replace those. But it completely ripped the motor housing from underneath the the uh, mower. So yeah. it's got a, a you know steel deck, and then it's got the hole in the middle of the steel deck. Yeah. And through that pokes a plastic housing that, that is connected to the, the steel deck mm-hmm. and then dips down into the deck and yep. holds the electric motor, um, which is, you know, a lot of metal pieces. It just completely sheared that off. Yep. <laughs> uh, just that impact. So <laughs> it was then the motor was hanging on by two or three wires. Um, I'm thinking I've destroyed it. <laughs> I did make a video about it, and then the amount of people that took joy in saying, "Oh, that's why you whip a snipper first, first like, yep. with no context about what I was doing, or and well, then the, the annoying thing about most people putting the boot in when you've had misfortune is, I was also hands up in the video. I, I literally said, "Hey, my, totally my fault here. Yep, I've messed up." It's not like I was going, oh, these damn things here, how stupid is this, or this mow was broken because of... Like, my fault. I messed up. I was in a hurry trying to do something differently, um, careless, Mm -hmm. and and I stuffed up. Everyone stuffs up. What what really blows me away, funnily enough, though, is with the hundreds of videos you've posted, you still kind of like sometimes forget that the internet is just the internet as well. You forget that... None of the logic works when it comes to internet comments. And yeah, people just, the first thought in their head, they're happy to type it out and tell you about it. And it's just fun to watch you still get as emotional about it as you did. Uh, emotional you... is a bit strong. It's, <laughs> it was a hard week because we tried out the Ramo. We'll talk about this. Sorry, next. I'm just here to give you a hard time. No sympathy at all. <laughs> we tried out the Ramo uh, remote control mower, which uh, is yeah. like a commercial version of the mower we've been talking about, essentially. God, we could rear one about like that one. Like a $50,000 one, and that mm-hmm. was cool. We'll talk about that next week. But that same day, we tried out the Al- Altos, which is a tracked zero-turn mower, and I put mm-hmm. a video out for that too. We tried the uh, Mo Raider. Yeah, the control. AG. But... Um, I'm more talking about different things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, obviously, I, I broke a mower and then 
just between all of the, the videos for those things, people seeing different things that they're like, oh, that's not for me, so I'm going to get angry about it. Mm -hmm. It was a tough week in the comments. <laughs> also, sorry, um, playing devil's advocate again. I saw a couple of things in there about uh, if it was my petrol mower, yeah. or, um, that wouldn't have happened or whatever. Yeah. So th thoughts on that? You reckon a petrol mower would have handled well, that bolt? Look, generally, you, most of your petrol mowers have... Um, in Australia, mm -hmm. we've got generally four swing back blades, which will take some of that impact. So yep. probably... Would have survived who, it. Who knows? I mean, it was quite a solid bolt. Um, you can still destroy... Oh, look, um, in like my... Like drive in, yeah, looking shaft at, and everything yeah. in, in a petrol mower. But yep. I think it probably would have... Possibly might have survived. glanced it more and, and been, been fine. But yeah, better shot at surviving maybe, yeah. yeah. yeah I also okay. don't know if... That's designed as a weak point for that mower. Like that's meant Safety to break. feature. Because it, uh, that plastic housing really is quite a cheap mm -hmm. part to replace. You think um, that'll be covered by warranty? If well, I, <laughs> many people were... I turned off the comments in it. I know. <laughs> no, but the main reason was people were... Tagging Milwaukee. Tagging Milwaukee oh, and yeah. be, oh, give this guy a mower. And, and that wasn't what the post was about. It was just yeah. like, hey, I stuffed up. I'm, sh I'm sure they'd happily send you one if you well, asked. It's not the point yeah, of it. I, yeah, I, I was just showing Your what had happened. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they did reach out to me because it got, oh, I don't know, six million views on Instagram. <laughs> it went off on every platform you posted, yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah, people just like seeing misfortune. But uh, Milwaukee did actually reach out and say, that, oh, we'd like to replace it. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was sent to us to review yep. here anyway. So, like, I'm not owed anything. Um, so I don't. I think I think people were, were the kind of people anyway, because mm. you mentioned in the video that it was your favorite mower. Well, so if they were coming from a really nice place where they're kind of going, oh, he's destroyed his like um, favorite mower. Yeah, the, I mean there was an asterisk there. I did yeah. say potentially my favorite battery mower, I and just, I had people slamming me about I heard your favorite too. mower. Yeah, <laughs> well, okay, you hear what you want to hear, but as I said, design-wise, I, I like that machine. Yeah, uh, it's a shame that it did break so easily when hitting something but it's not designed for chopping 15 yeah. 20 mil bolts yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. um look so it's a battery mower too i feel like even if the housing hadn't collapsed on itself i reckon you would have blown that battery anyway if you're, not if, the battery uh, no, you're you, you could, have, could have destroyed the the motor but who yeah. knows who but knows? they like i said they reached out said you know they're happy to replace it i i also don't you kind of need consequence in your life. Like, you can't just stuff up and people... Just replace them all for yeah, you. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I just, yeah, I don't know. I just don't think that's a good look for, for me because then people are just like, oh, you know... He just, doesn't care. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Doesn't, he doesn't care. They're just sending him this or whatever. Yeah. So I actually asked, I said, um, well, could we see if we could get it repaired? Because, like, I don't, want, I don't want to send it to the landfill either. I think that's wasteful. Mm -hmm. um, and could, you know, is a bit of a problem, I think, with... Uh, these electric tools. Correct. I think a lot of them, when something goes wrong, instead of being repaired, I think they're just exchanged. And reality is a lot of that stuff probably ends up in landfill. Well, and that's which, the biggest counter for this yeah. whole battery and green uh, as a green option is the pre-production. And once it's done in its use, yeah. they always kind of counteract any benefits you have, I guess. And yeah. we're, we're talking very generally here because <laughs> we don't actually know, but I'm sure you've seen some posts yeah. about some equipment where it's ended up. Well, that's the argument on that yeah. topic, yeah. And yeah. again, I, like, I don't want to be contributing to that and be unnecessarily wasteful. I create a lot of waste because we do try these things, the amount of stuff that gets sent, the amount of boxes and foam and whatnot. Mm -hmm. and, um, I, I feel bad about it as it is. So um, can so, they repair it? Well, okay. I'll update you next week. We'll find oh, out. You're waiting to hear they're, back. they're looking into it. Um, I did also say, hey, can I try the 18-inch version of it? Because this was the 21-inch. Yeah. And just for your viewers, it'll be good to know if, like, if if that it was clearly a user error, yeah. But if that happened to someone, would Milwaukee sort of cover that under warranty? I don't. I, 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 I'm just saying, yeah. you get the answer for us. And no one's ever going to believe me because it's all the argument's always going to be they only did this for you because you make videos. And there's obviously. I'm probably going to get treated different to the average person because yeah, yeah, you've, you're, if you you're put review. out a video and it's got 5 million views. They get good uh, exposure, yeah. Or not so good in this case. Mm -hmm. But um, it wasn't a video for me to bag them or It was literally just to show. I like to show the truth. Like, I, I don't profess to be an expert or infallible. Like, I make a lot of mistakes. I make mistakes daily. Mm -hmm. 
um, yeah, I definitely just, I like to show people, because in my comments, so often people are just crazy. Oh, you're amazing, your edges are, it's like, I tell them, yeah, it looks amazing sped up. Anyone looks amazing sped up, you know, like, even you, you look amazing sped up. I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, things go wrong. Like I have things go wrong and I'm happy to show that stuff. Uh, even though people jump on you yeah, un- about it. Yeah, unfortunately, it won't be the last time your no, no, no. comments go south and yeah. Won't it, be it, the, is, yeah. it won't be the last time it breaks yeah. something either. Yeah, true that, true that. Especially yeah. for what I do, I'm kind of well, lucky. Day in, day out for what you do, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. With that overgrown stuff, mm-hmm. the, the overgrown stuff I'm throwing mowers in. And, I'm, and I am careful. I will do a walkthrough of a place before throwing something in. Um, yeah, so it was an interesting week. I'll update you on whatever happens with that Milwaukee mower. Mm-hmm. Um, again, I, I'm, I had people saying, oh, oh start a GoFundMe. Like, I'm not, I'm not in a situation. <laughs> he like, doesn't need more mowers. No, exactly. He would like more to try, nor, but he doesn't need more. Nor do I take money from... Uh, Every brand that gives you a mower to try? Well, I don't, from the brands or from my audience. That's Because yeah. um, I, I could definitely do it. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, there were a lot of people there. Like, oh, you know, we'll, we'll buy you. And like, I'm I'm fine. I'm <laughs> I'm very lucky to be in the position I've got. I've got lots of equipment to use. Um, you know, one mower that was was sent to me for review. Um, yeah, it's no financial loss for me. Yeah. And and don't think that means that I'm like, oh, oh it means nothing. Like, I'm I'm still like, oh, okay, I've destroyed a mower. It's not a good thing. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're not destroying things for the sake of them here. <laughs> but that was that. Did we do the news today? This time? No, we didn't. We didn't so, do a news, did we? So I intended to... <laughs> we've just been talking, talking. We started about the Murray Raider. We were meant to do the news first um, and then get into the topic. But part of the news was the Murray Raider. So of course, yeah. So we started talking about that and then I'm just like, we can't sort of go out of that and go back into it. <laughs> um, so it's a little bit different to the... Uh, prior to podcasts where we're trying to get in our groove work out what this show is anyway there's no there's no um set formula there's no set formula we're Mm -hmm. just trying out anything seeing what works we've gone from stool down to the other seats and back to the stool this time around we don't know we don't know what we're doing i think i'm liking the stools though i'm definitely liking it does show off my white legs on the video but i'm okay with that (laughs) (laughs) another tool this is called turf and tools another tool that uh, i tried this week Baby this was chains. sent to me a while ago by um, Kebtech. This is, if you're watching the video, you can see it here. It's a hand chainsaw, um, probably about the size, if you've seen Still's version of it, Still were probably the first people to come out with these little hand mm-hmm. chainsaws. Uh, and now every man and his dog has one, every okay. brand and his dog. Well, you would have seen it. I've tried a Ryobi one. Well, um, I mean, you forget that I don't try as many tools as you do, so... Okay. Yeah, I, just, I know of their existence. Just about every brand has a, a small of it. hand yep. chainsaw now. If They're cool. You can see it on the, the video, obviously, if, you, if you're listening to this podcast. It's, it's literally one hand. It's a five-inch blade, so very small, mm-hmm. but it means that I can store it away in the trundle tray of my ute quite easily. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, it's under a kilo. I think it's nine hundred grams. That's without it. Call it around a kilo. Mm-hmm. Um, I used it this week at that Fremo Fridays job. There was a palm there, mm-hmm. and there were a lot of palm fronds, dead ones and whatnot, yeah. underneath that I wanted to clear because in the garden bed was just the thickest kaiku I've ever seen. Yeah, I don't, I don't, did what, you see it? Yeah, or? of course I did. Yeah, yeah that's the most, like, it, that garden bed was interesting. Well, yeah. just to be able to trim that grass in that garden bed, I had to get rid of those um, fronds, yeah. palm fronds. So I thought, I'll give this a go. And I thought a lot of it was green, and I thought I might struggle with it. But if you're watching the video... It just go straight through. Yeah, it was really good. So does it need bar oil and stuff like that as yeah, well? Yeah, so like it's a, not self-oiling. Mm-hmm. Um, you have to lubricate the chain before you use it each time. Okay. Which... A lot of them now are self-oiling. Yeah. I've got a Milwaukee uh, M18 version, which is the hatchet. Mm-hmm. That's much bigger than this. That's self-oiling. Okay. But what I have noticed with just about any chainsaw that that has bar oil, they leak. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so you, you leave it for a while and then you come back and there's just a little puddle of oil. So as annoying as it sounds, like I kind of prefer 
for, for this tool, I just hide it before prefer, you use it each time. Yeah, throwing a few drops on. Yeah. And it's not really something you're going to use every single time either. No, it's just going to be there when you it's need a it. It's handy useful. thing to have in the back of my, for me, for what I do. Yeah. You've got many, I'm not saying go and buy this one. Uh, I just like this one because of the, the form factor. Very small, doesn't take up much space. Very small batteries. They're, Keptec, right? This one is? Yeah, so the brand is Keptec. They were actually the first company to ever send me equipment to to show on my channel. This is going back like three years ago. Um, someone's just staring at us like we're... <laughs> uh, yeah, that was about three years ago. And there was the electronic pruners, yep. which I still use to this day. And they're still some of the most impressive electronic pruners I have because electronic pruners now are something that every brand has. Again, yeah. Ryobi has, AEG has, uh, I think Makita recently, Milwaukee really has one. them. Okay. Yep. Um, I can't think. Lo lots of brands have them now, mm -hmm. but this was prior to all those brands having them and, and they are just so good, the electronic pruners, particularly if you cut a branch off Yep. and it's got... You know, it's like you've got... Oh, you don't know what it's like. You haven't got a green bin. But if you want to get all of that waste into your bin... Green it, bin, yeah. yeah. It can be a bit annoying. You just go snip, 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 snip. Yep. It's no effort. You, you fit so much more in your green bin for that sort of stuff. Great for pruning. Uh, I really do like them. But, yeah, that's Kebtech. Uh, everything they've sent me has been... Good. They did send me one chainsaw that was um, defective. Uh, okay. this, this was a bigger one that goes on a pole and they wanted to replace that but I just it, it didn't end up happening because mm. they, they, they got a good feel about their products yeah, in general because I know I've used your pruners before as well they just they feel solid they don't well, feel you have cheap. the pruners at the moment correct <laughs> um, I've seen them on it looks like you can buy them on their website I, I, I should probably ask them hey what, what's the best way to buy this stuff I've also seen them on Amazon I was mm -hmm. having a look before you got here when I was having breakfast um, I think it's a couple of hundred bucks. This we're talking about the chainsaw again, by the okay. way. This little hand chainsaw, a couple of hundred bucks with two batteries, charger, and two chains. Um, you can also buy, which I would highly recommend. They do like a four pack of extra chains for. Okay. I think it was about thirty-five bucks. I would just stop just get them all together. I just have them there. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So they've got all the replaceable parts there, which is handy. You're just the taint, chain tension without tools. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just got a little... Yeah, okay. Lift up and then turns into a... Yeah, yeah. lift and unscrew and then tension the chain. Um, so, yeah, about a couple hundred bucks. I'm not sure how much the steel one is. But that's that's quite a popular one mm -hmm. comparable to that. I feel like I've seen it on special recently. They used to be quite expensive, but I have seen them on special quite a bit lately. But, yeah, good option for someone that... that that wants that. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. How much is a still one? Okay, so I just had a look. The still GTA 26 battery garden pruner, which looks like it comes with one battery. It's a very similar sort of design, even the batteries really, mm -hmm. um, to the still one. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying anything about quality. I haven't tried the still one. Um, the still one came out first, but uh, yeah, the still one looks like 2.99 with one battery and charger. From what I'm seeing, is that what you're seeing? I'm not looking at still ones. I'm just looking at oh, okay. uh, well, I'm, oh, I'm looking at who else makes them, and yeah, everyone well, makes them. Yeah, you can, you can. I think for about sixty or seventy dollars, you can get a cheap Chinese bigger one of these in a battery one that will do the job. Yep. Um, yeah, there's no shortage of options with these, but I would probably compare it just in size and design to mm -hmm. the still one. Still Again, one, yeah. not, I'm not comparing. I'm not saying anything bad about still yeah, yeah. Or, or that the quality is comparable because i haven't tried them mm -hmm. but that's the sort of tool that it is cool. got through those palm fronds easily i cut a couple of branches off a, a lady's tree as well which was handy that i just had it in the yeah yeah i was at her place and she's like oh i've got those can you get them yeah yeah and normally i don't i don't carry a chainsaw i just i don't like chainsaws in general i just feel like they're a disaster waiting to happen for someone <laughs> okay um, it's one of those tools that yeah they just i'm not comfortable with yeah well i just feel i feel like you've got to be extremely cautious with them but mm -hmm. i was able to go up on her balcony pull the branches over and just brr, brr, yeah cut them off really easily because it's you know the weight on that thing feels yeah yeah, no, yeah it feels yeah. solid but not heavy yeah if that makes sense at all yeah it's also got a um the safety on it 
is on the left and right for the your handle. Mm -hmm. So if you're left or right handed, yeah, 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 it's yeah. still operable. But that's yeah, that's the cool. Keptec cool, 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 five inch uh, mini chainsaw, I guess you'd call it. About a couple of hundred bucks. That's delivered too. I haven't got a lot more tool wise this week. Anyway, you got anything else? Or? Uh, yeah, just a really cool video of the Vegas Stadium for the footy launch of this season. Yeah, the, so the, the rugby league. Yeah. Um, went over to Las Vegas to play a couple of games there, and they yeah they it's a stadium. Do you know what stadium it was? I don't know. Don't Las know. Vegas. I don't know nothing about. But it's an enclosed stadium, and they trundle the the the, the whole playing surface basically, yeah, isn't it? In and out. So mm. when it's not being played yeah. on, they trundle like it's on wheels. Think and think like the MCG cricket pitch where they. Pitch is brought in for cricket games like a drop-in, well, but in this case, the whole yeah. playing surface itself is like packed it away or brought back in to play. It yeah, just drives outside to get those premium sun exactly, growing yeah. condition. Do you know what sort of turf it was? Or? <laughs> no, look, I should have probably yeah. given. I just like it's only short form videos that I've saw of it, yeah. and it's just one of those things where you look and you go, "Wow, that's that's amazing. It did look cool. That's yeah. cool. That's amazing." Yeah. Um, again, they don't need the grass to last. Obviously, they can reseed it if they need to they can control the growing conditions yeah so i can see if you've got the money as a stadium it's a great like think about what mcg would have looked like after a taylor swift concert yeah and the poor groundskeepers that have got to bring that stadium back to like say a sport for a sporting they're used to it they, they, i know they they they're used to it and they're really, amazing yeah. at what they do yeah. but i'm kind of going if they had the money and the option to grow their turf separately so when there's a taylor swift concert they can pack it oh, away so to speak would, yeah. yeah 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 they'd love that but then yeah it was just a cool video to watch. I did uh, reach out to a couple of brands this week to mm -hmm. let them know that we're doing a, a podcast and just saying, hey, if you've got any equipment news or anything, let us know. We can talk about it on the podcast because always interested in new equipment and talking about it. And also if you've got any new redemptions yep. or, or deals going on. Mm -hmm. um, actually, one of the brands I spoke to, I thought this was really bizarre. One of the brands I spoke to, I, I said that and they just said, oh, I... I'd direct you to our website. Okay, cool. All right. It's like, thank you. No worries. Like, we'll, we'll Google it. Yeah. I'm, uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for, uh, yeah. Isn't your job to uh, promote the stuff? We're offering yeah. to promote yeah. your stuff. Was it was it the AI bot that answered your question? You show it was no, a person? No, 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 no. It was a person. It was, okay. yeah. Uh, so that was a little bit disappointing. But uh, I did hear back from Ego. Ego, I've got a redemption at the moment nice. on their commercial gear. Uh, again, this isn't sponsored or anything. It's just good to know because a lot of people ask about the equipment I'm using. I've been using the Ego line trimmer um, a bit lately. Yep. And uh, they're one of the more popular battery sort of um, commercial brand out there too. Yeah. Commer like this commercial range is new. Mm -hmm. They also have a new commercial mower coming. It will, again, classed as commercial for them. I haven't tried it. No, one, no one's tried it yet. Uh, I did reach out to them about trying it. So hopefully we'll get an early-ish look at that. Fingers crossed, maybe not. Is this the one that is out in the US, but always like it's not got to yeah. Australia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, But yeah, Ego have a redemption on it at the moment. I think you get a f free five amp hour battery with um, commercial participating products. So there's a list of products there that they're doing them for. The line trimmer is one of them, the STX 4500. So yeah, at the moment you can go and buy that, that um, trimmer. Mm-hmm and get a five amp hour battery, battery yes. redemption at nice. no charge so um good option i again not sponsored but i do like to let people know when these things are available because if you're going to buy this stuff especially the batteries they, they're so expensive so yeah, and you if can, you can save you know two three four hundred dollars on a battery yep uh, i'm happy to let you know and the value add is so much yeah but just having extra batteries available to you well, as well i would if that was me i'd buy the trimmer I don't think they come in a kit. I'd have to check. If yeah, it doesn't but if come you, in, ideally, you'd buy it as a kit and then redeem for the extra battery as correct, well, right? Yeah. yeah. But if I didn't, I'd, I'd buy battery, charger, mm -hmm. trimmer, and then have a second battery. Because yeah. as much as you, if you've got a small block, one five amp hour battery will get through it. It's just, it's and really handy to have. Yeah, second two. one, yeah. 100%. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll try and let you know if anything comes up new or any decent redemptions. Yeah, if any brands are watching as well, if you guys want to promote any of your new products, don't have to give us anything just let us know just, yeah well it's just yeah, it's tool talk, talk. It. it's not it's not it's not even like we're like trying to sell you anything yeah yeah, yeah. and you don't have to give us the tool either if it's interesting <laughs> tell us we'll talk exactly, about it exactly yeah not? we're happy to uh have a chat about it because that's all we do isn't it thanks for joining us this week for the podcast 
Um, not sure exactly what we'll be talking about next week. Maybe the other remote control mower, the Raymo and the yep. Altos, the track um, zero turn. Potentially, who knows what will happen this week. I've got to get this done because, yeah, like I said, 35 degrees. I've got to get out there <laughs> mowing, unfortunately. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you, guys. Enjoy your week. See you next week. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Do we? Uh-huh. I still don't know. Uh-huh. I've got the outro playing. Do we uh-huh. talk through it? <laughs> we always talk through it. Why not? Do you reckon? Uh-huh. Well, we're kind of sick here. Uh-huh. Yeah. I haven't got much to say, though. Yeah, we're done. Yeah. We're, we don't have to talk for another week. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>